Hey everyone, Rob the Average Long Guy. Welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to go out there and find out exactly what the big deal is with real mowing. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger and purchased my own powered real mower. It's a gas powered real mower, which is from the company McLean. It's a McLean brand real mower, 25 inch. So I'm gonna get that wide cut. So right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you one of the major cons I notice about this real mower. And I'm assuming it's like that with most real mowers. It is extremely loud. So this is not something you can cut around grandma when she's home at 8 at night. So it's something you want to keep in mind. You're not going to be able to do any late night cuts. Or if you do, you're going to piss off your neighbors. But besides being loud, there really isn't any other cons that I can see. When it comes to you, it comes disassembled in two different pieces. All you got to do is really hook it up. It's mainly hooking up the handle and the bar to the mower itself. And I'm cutting it at the lowest possible cut right out the box and that's 0.75 inches. I can go lower, but I choose to stay at 0.75 inches, at least just for this year. Now, this thing is wide. You're gonna cover more ground and I'm starting to like it. It takes a while to get used to, especially when you're using it for the first few times. The first few times you use it, it is gonna be a little difficult. Well, not really difficult, but a little different. It's something you're gonna to have to get used to. You're gonna to have to get used to engaging the reel itself and disengaging the reel when you're making a turn. It's something you're just gonna to have to adjust to. Unlike a rotary mower, a rotary mower blades actually spins very fast and it chops the grass up. With reel mowing, you're actually cutting the grass like a pair of scissors. And because of this, you're gonna get a much cleaner cut and you're gonna almost eliminate any scalping issues you see with a rotary mower if you have any kind of bumps on your turf or if you actually have a bumpy turf you're going to cause scalp marks the lower you go but with real mowing this is not a concern yes it's still possible to scalp with a real mower but it's almost highly unlikely especially with a 25 inch real mower now besides being different in the way it cuts you're going to notice some major stripe action here so one of the things a lot of people say is real mowing is not for everyone and that is absolutely true. Besides the price point, most powered real mowers go for about 1K and up depending on the brand and model. But besides the price point, the main reason why real mowing is not for everyone is because to maintain a low cut turf, you're gonna have to cut very frequently. And when I say frequently, I mean every two days. There is no way you can cut Bermuda one time a week at 0.75 inches. It's just not gonna happen. So you're gonna have to get out there and mow every two days. Now, because I could not cut my grass every two days, I actually allowed four days to pass before I was able to cut it. But because of that, I'm gonna have to collect the clippings, which you can see in this clip right here. Now, one of the ways you can extend your cut instead of cutting every two days you can probably get by and cut every three to four days is to put down a pgr which is a plant growth regulator it's something i'm going to get into in my next video but basically what you're trying to do is slow the growth of the bermuda by putting this chemical down but in any case with real mowing you're gonna have to get out there and mow frequently once a week it's not gonna cut it so this is one of the things i wanted to show you and share with you this week it's a super short video, but I wanted to tell you exactly what I think of real mowing and I'm really loving it. My next video, I'm going to go over PGR and exactly how I put it down. Hope you found this video useful and if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe for more future content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later.